After relentless protesting, immigration reform advocates were heard earlier this month as President Obama announced his executive action on immigration reform. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president, the same kinds of actions taken by Democratic and Republican presidents before me, that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. Up to 5 million undocumented immigrants who apply and meet all the requirements will be protected from deportation under this plan. Applicants must have citizen children or have lived in the country for at least five years, have no criminal record, pass a background check, and vow to pay taxes. Yet even with this plan, six million undocumented immigrants are left out. Among them are some of the so-called dreamers who did not qualify for DACA as they arrived in the country after the age of 15. Though this plan eliminates the older age cap, all undocumented immigrants must have arrived in the U.S. before the age of 16, a requirement of the DACA program. So the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals really focuses on a population of young people who came here when they were a young age and have basically grown up in the United States. This is the country that they see as their home. Amanda is one of them, a dreamer unable to qualify for the second time as she arrived in the country after the age of 15. Knowing that you're so close to something but that again you're left out, it's just frustrating. After working hard to adapt to this country, Amanda is like any other American, except she's unable to fulfill her dreams because of her legal status. Now that I have my college degree, it feels amazing, but again, it's not like I'm able to, you know, pursue my career like I want to. In a way, it is unfair because I do feel that my life is on hold. For many like Amanda, the required age cap limits the opportunities. But this nonprofit organization is determined to change that. That's an, a responsibility for us to continue to fight for them. There's a lot of people here who aren't a priority for removal. There are people that are working hard that are contributing to the country and have deep ties and roots in the country. Though a change may not come soon, Amanda remains hopeful that one day she'll be able to change her legal status. Well, I hope that every day. I do hope that every day. Um, I don't know when it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen because I'm a very faithful person and I know that eventually it will happen. I just don't know how long it's going to take. The prospect of providing relief for dreamers like Amanda is an issue the Latino community will continue to fight for. And with the power of the Latino vote in 2016, candidates will need to listen to them. For BU News Service, I'm Noelia Valero.